Chicken Sandwich Challenge. Beanie and I are here today comparing McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, and Popeye's Chicken Sandwiches. We got three of these bad boys here, and we are gonna see which one is the absolute best. Beanie, out of all three, we haven't tasted them yet, yeah. which one do you think is gonna be the best? I think it's gonna be Chick-fil-A. Okay. Chick but a lot of people are probably watching this, and they're probably like, why are they releasing this in April 2023? We thought the chicken war already ended, right? It didn't. You're wrong. Mm -hmm. McDonald's just introduced the new McCrispy. New flavors, new ingredients on their new package, just like Chick-fil-A, right? Yep. This is Chick-fil-A packaging, legit, 101. They, they, they literally took their flow word for word, bar for bar. <laughs> and so did Popeye's. And Popeye's says they have a new flavor as well, right? They added something to their chicken sandwich. So that's apparently the rumor. Apparently Popeye's changed the way they do their chicken sandwich. Yeah. So we are here to review all three again and see which one if is they compete, the absolute if best. If they compete. If they compete. Now we know Chick-fil-A is the GOAT, but is the GOAT being challenged today? Yeah. And I will say when Popeye's first dropped their chicken sandwich, I, was, I thought it was better than Chick-fil-A. I remember that. And a lot of meat breaded nicely we haven't had it in a while so that's why we, we want to put put the chickens to the test the chickens to the test i remember when popeyes first came out we could not you could sell a chick-fil-a you can sell one of those sandwiches for like 50 dollars. people yeah. were basically looking for them everywhere so why did the chicken cross the road why he was going to chick-fil-a <laughs> Chick chick-fil-a to get eaten yeah all, all right, right guys comment below what's your favorite and with that we're going to start the review sean what are we doing first Oh. What, what do you think is going to be the best? I think Chick-fil-A will be the best. Easy. Popeyes may make it on top. I feel like McDonald's is probably going to be last. Do you think McDonald's has a chance in this? In this? It could be. It, I've never, I have them at, have it. You ever had this? I haven't had the McCrispy. Okay. But I feel like since we're most familiar with Chick-fil-A's taste, we have to go with the McCrispy first. Because McCrispy. I feel like that's one we're least familiar with. Okay. Okay. So, so packaging. Ooh. It's the same thing. Same packaging as, and we're using no sauces. No sauces. It's the straight up chicken flavor. So, so they put a little wrapper around it. Yeah. Just like Popeyes, you know. It's very flattened though. It's like a different type of bread. Oh, I think it is a brioche, brioche bread. Brioche bread. And they have bread. pickles. They they have pickles in here, but no sauce that Wait, I can see of. Bread, chicken, and two pickles. I haven't seen this before. Oh yeah. It's definitely you know definitely not similar to something. Co uh, copyright. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> what the. Okay. It's nice and soft. It's nice and soft. I, I like the bun, but I feel like it's a little bit smushed. Maybe not. The chicken's kind of small, Sean. It is kind of small. That's a small chicken. It doesn't even cover up. Like, like, look, guys, when I take this bite, I'm not having no chicken. Yeah. But, but, ready, Mini? Let's do it. Cheers. 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 Mm. Mm. Okay. Tastes very similar to Chick Fil A's. It's, it's not bad. The meat's a little bit dry in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's not as juicy as Chick Fil A's typically. Mm -mm. But we're still trying everything new today, so who knows? That might change. Um, so my complaint is, is that the chicken's a little bit too dry. It's not as crispy as I would like it to be. Because if you're calling something a crispy, it needs to have a bigger crunch to it. And this is kind of missing out on that. But it's a decent chicken sandwich. Like, it's a decent one. But I'd say it's amazing? No. What are your thoughts, Beanie? Same. I would rank this like a 6.4 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Pretty good chicken sandwich. But would I go go out of my way and get this again? Probably not. When there's Chick-fil-A. When, when we have Chick-fil-A around. Mm -hmm. But I won't say it's bad. Yeah. Solid. But yeah, if, if they had the crunch, I think they're missing that. But this with sauce would be really good. I agree. I think maybe you sauce it up a little bit in the future. I like barbecue with my chicken sandwiches. I don't know what you like. You know, I like um, with Chick-fil-A, I like Chick-fil-A sauce with it, with Popeyes. I like the spicy chicken sandwich, but here we're reviewing all the regular sandwiches. We're not reviewing the spicy versions just because we want to stay pure to the actual chicken and the, just the mm. sandwich itself. But I'd agree with you. I'd put mine as a 6.6. .6. So 6.4 for Beanie and 6.6 .6 for me. And also with the spicy, Sean, um, I think, I, I'll correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but no, 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 I, I'm not, I, I know this is accurate. Yeah. Popeyes and McDonald's use the same chicken. All the, the, For the spicy, all they do is change the sauce. Mm -hmm. They just put a spicy sauce on it. Whereas Chick-fil-A has a spicy breading. The breading, yes. So it's, it's different. It's, it's, elite. it's elite. It's elite. Well, I feel like we got to do Chick-fil-A next because oh, I feel okay. like we need something in the middle to compare it to because okay. I feel like McDonald's chicken sandwich is very similar. Yeah, y'all know this OG packaging. It's, it's the GOAT. That's, that's how you know. It's oh, see, look. A lot bigger, a lot bigger of a chicken breast right here. It's so much bigger. Wow. I mean, you gotta, look at that. Look at the way it's, look, look at the toast. You can just see the crunch on it. Yeah. 
you got the pickles right there. It's designed the same exact way, the, but I would say this is a lot more fuller. I think I like the bun of this a little bit more. Yeah. And the chicken is just clearly, it just, it looks better. It just, it just looks, Sean, it's just, it's just, it's, it's yeah. too much. It's too much. Okay. But look at that. You see that crisp? Oh, show, show. Look show, at that show crisp me. on mine, guys. Look at that. I know you might think it's burnt, but nah, that's crisp. It's crisp. All right, Beanie. Let's do it. Cheers. Ready? Cheers. Chick fil A. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Automatically better. It's not a debate. No questions asked. You, you said it was the McDonald's was missing juiciness. Mm -hmm. Juicy. This is nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. It's like the McDonald's is like a lesser version. It's like trying to duplicate something, but you're not even getting there. It's kind of like, it's like kind of comparing LeBron James. Like LeBron James is a Chick-fil-A sandwich. And then the McDonald's sandwich is like, they they have a similar play style, but not even close to good. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Like, maybe like a, not a Magic Johnson comparison there. But... So it's just a good sandwich. I mean, this is like high eights for me. It's like an eight point eight. It's significantly better than the McDonald's. What about like a uh, LeBron versus a uh, Chris Middleton? Yeah, is that too much? No, it's good. Uh, like Chris Middleton's good, guys, but he's not. He's nothing special, right? Like, why get a Chris Middleton when you can get a LeBron? Exactly. Yeah. It's a good chicken sandwich, y'all. Chick Fil A never disappoints, and the one thing I admire about them is their consistency. Like. You can go there and you know what you're getting out of there. Okay. Other fast foods may be inconsistent. I don't need sauce with this, Trump. I don't need sauce with this. Yeah. It's not dry at all. And you know what's you know what the you know what the other part is? We actually got the Chick-fil-A first. So this is actually supposed to be the coldest. It's not supposed to be as good. That's what this is for. Boom. Oh my god. Great job, Chick-fil-A. Great job. Be Beanie, I said 8.8, .8, what would you drink it as? What would you? You ate the whole thing. Dang. It's too good. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Because right. nothing gets a ten, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing gets a ten. Why yeah. doesn't anything get a ten? Why is this not a ten? There is no such things as perception, uh, perfection in real life, Beanie. Even a ten out of ten Girl. beautiful woman does not exist. Really? Me a nine point nine, but never a ten out of ten. I'm none of us are ten out of tens. But Beanie. You gotta, you gotta save some room for Popeyes, man. You always have room, bro. You can't be biased. We got to put our Chick-fil-A bias away. But we have the bias. Ooh, I can feel the thickness on this. This is thicker. This is the thickest sandwich out of all of them. Yeah, she, yeah, she thick. Oh my God. This is like. Oh, she thick. This is the thickest one of them. Oh, look, look at that. that. Guys, this is big. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay. Wow, it's, it's smothered in mayo though. Show them, show them, show them. It's smothered in mayo, guys. Y'all know that it has mayo. Everyone knows that. I mean, that's, that's fine. That's just how they want to go about it, you know? Y'all, I think, Beanie, I think Chick-fil-A might have a run for its money. It does. Yeah, it, it definitely does. does. Same amount of money. The the, the breading is just, you, you, look, it's nice and buttered up. I think I think Popeye's may have the best breading out of all three. Just on by how it feels. How it bread. Feels. On the bread. On the, on the bread. Look at that chicken, bro. They, they gave me a whole chicken. Literally, the chicken that crossed the street, they gave it to me. This might be like 50% larger than the other two sandwiches. Yeah. It's like you're going from smallest to biggest. And you were talking about crunch? This is the most crunch out of all three. This is going to be crunchy. Easily. You can just look at the, You can just look at it. You ready, Beanie? Yeah. They can hate it on way too much. I love Popeyes. Yeah. Popeyes. Popeyes is underrated, guys. Stop the hate. Stop the cap. Yeah. Stop the cap. Yeah, let's ready? go. Let's go. Mm. Mm, mm mm mm. Stop it right there, Beanie. You wanted juiciness. You wanted a soft bread. You wanted crunch on. They gave you all of it. This is better than Chick Fil A sandwich. This is better. It's juicier. It's crunchier. The bread is better. Oh my goodness. And it's just you just get more of a portion. I'm gonna take one more bite with the pickles. I didn't get the pickles. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the best sandwich out of all three. Um, I would say maybe it's a debate, maybe, but it's not though. Popeyes is better, in my opinion. 
What are you rating it? This, I'd rate it a 9.3. A 9.3. Just better, y'all. Like, they did change something. I think the breading got better. Mm -hmm. They said they changed something about the new chicken sandwich. Guys, this is really good. It's so juicy. Like, like Chick-fil-A's was juicy, but this is like a smooth juicy. This is like a melt in your mouth kind of juicy. You know what I'm saying? Beanie, come on. We, we got to hear your opinion on this. Try the chicken Chick-fil-A again. You should have it left. Mm -hmm. Sean, I'm at a loss of words. You really said this is better than Chick-fil-A? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Like my bite of a Chick Fil A again. So if Chick Fil A, yeah. nope, Popeyes is better. So if Chick Fil A is LeBron, what is this? Michael Jordan. Popeyes is the Michael Jordan of uh, sandwich chicken sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about the Giannis? It just came out. No, no, no. It's new. It's new and improved, but it's just like it's better, y'all. Like maybe this is a one off. Maybe this is a one off. No. Oh, this is guys, better. guys, look, 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 look. Why I haven't said anything? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, Sean. Look, mm -hmm. if you know me, Sean knows me really well. Chick Fil A is easily my favorite fast food. There was a time period in my life where I had Chick Fil A every day for two months. I love mm. Chick Fil A. We're both from Atlanta. No, oh, you're from Atlanta. I'm from Houston. No, no, Chick we're both from Atlanta. Oh, Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A mm. is from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Founded, yeah. Not you, yeah, yeah, for sure. This is from Louisiana. McDonald's was founded in California. Love that chicken from Papa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mm. love it. You love it. Mm. Th that's my point, guys. I love Chick-fil-A. Trust me. Trust me. I love them. This tasted better. Mm -hmm. It did. Wh what? I don't know what to say, guys. Chick-fil-A is phenomenal. We all know that. But Chick-fil-A was like, okay, my taste buds were like, all right, all right. We're doing good. And then Popeyes came along and said, wake up. Wake the Wake up. Chick fil A got took me for a ride. Chick fil A got complacent. They got complacent. Chick fil A is like your, uh, I don't know if I should say this on camera. Chick fil A is like your, you know, like your girlfriend, right? She, she's nice. She's cute. She's sweet. But you're out you're out on a nice night and then, whoo, this new model just comes in, you know? Like a 10 out of 10 hits on you? 10 out of 10. Like, you know, man, I want to try that, right? It's like, it's like, a, it's like a car. It's like a car. You know, you have that Camaro. You don't have the convertible. But then here comes this new convertible Camaro, right? With everything. New horsepower. Nice rims. Shiny. But you already have the Camaro. Why, why do you want the convertible, Sean? I think my thing is you appreciate what you have today. But you also... You can also recognize the greatness of the new thing. And I, guys, the, the ranking is easy for me. It's uh, Popeye's on top. Chick Fil A as number two and McDonald's as number three. I think we're in agreement on McDonald's. I agree. As Popeyes three. has the best chicken sandwich out right now. They changed their formula and they did work. They did work. They did work. Plankton at Chick Fil A is gonna want this formula. They're gonna fight for it. Sean, is, I'm, I'm literally in awe. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm so surprised. I, I, because, you know, I remember having, I remember having this like two years ago, and I was like, well, you know, they're both pretty good. But when you have it side to side, it's not a competition. Mm -hmm. It's like it's really not. Popeyes just takes the takes the steal. Uh, unfortunately for Chick Fil A lovers, is they got they got the steal. And um, yeah, Beanie, any any last thoughts you want to give the people? We can just chow down on the Popeyes and enjoy ourselves a little bit afterwards. Oh, I will. I'll be chowing down on all, on, on that. But a lot of people are gonna come in the comments. I can already see it. Mm -hmm. You guys do not know what y'all are doing. You don't know anything about reviewing. Chick-fil-A is easily the best. Go try it for yourself. Chick-fil-A is my favorite fast food. It always will be. Mm -hmm. But guys, when something better comes along, you have to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Like Sean's, back to Sean's point. Football, Sean, you, I'll give I'll give you an example in sports. Yep. You give me an example in something else. I'll give you time to yep. think. Like basketball guys, like, <clears throat> we all love Peyton Manning, right? We did. If you guys watched football back in the day, we always thought, oh, Peyton Manning's the best. No one's going to beat that. But then here comes this guy named Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. New, he, he can throw without looking. He can do all that, right? More flavor, mm -hmm. more breading. It's just, it's just how it is, man. And here comes Popeyes. You gotta stop the hate and appreciate. 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 Stop the hate, appreciate. That's such a good analogy, Beanie. And honestly, like I, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I can give an analogy. That was so beautifully said. You can. But, you but can. it's just um, where I would compare it is just. 
you know, like crumble cookies, they come out with a new flavor of cookies each week. There you go. And one week, you're gonna be like, wow, this is the best flavor of the week. Like, you you, you know, like the chocolate chip cookie. And you'll like fall in love with it. You'll fall in love with it. Yeah. You're like, there's nothing better than this ever. And then, you know, the next thing you know, crumble cookie comes out with a semi-sweet chocolate chip with an oatmeal base. And you're like, this is, this is a little bit better. This is better than that. And so you appreciate the greatness of the old, but you recognize when when uh, when it's beat. And what I'll say is, is Popeye's number one, Chick-fil-A number two, <laughs> McDonald's number three. That's from Beanie and both of us. I agree, I agree. Um, but thank you again yeah. all for, for your, uh, subs make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like if you guys enjoy these views. And we'll see y'all again soon. And comment below what we should do next, guys. If you mm -hmm. want to do a blind test with this, we can do a blind. I, I can put a blindfold on Sean mm -hmm. and get him to try these sandwiches without even looking. So he's honest. Ooh, but I think you'll know. I think you'll know. I think I know now. I know now. I think he knows. And what other chicken sandwich should we try, right? Well, who yeah. else is in the game? KFC. K uh, I have not tried KFCs yet. Neither have, have I. you? I've heard good things. We need to do that next. But wow, guys. J Jack in the Box. Oh, no, not Jack in the Box. We don't, we, we don't need to go get Wendy's. Gino. Why do we need to go get Geno Smith when we have Patrick Mahomes? <laughs> right? That's good. <laughs> All right, guys. See y'all next time. Take care.